This is it. No tires. Here's the truth about this. Does anyone who owns a BMW i3 lie about liking the BMW i3? I don't know. I like it, but I cannot ignore what happens when you're dealing with the i3. So this is me. It is preconditioning only the cabin, but it doesn't precondition the battery because the car is not plugged into the wall. It's not charging. And because it's not charging, it's not preconditioning the, the actual you know battery. So this is what happens whenever I gotta start my car and it's really hot out. From Carefree donated his 2000. Here you go. <laughs> Look at that. So if I try to move the car now, What's going to happen? What's going to happen is that the bar left on the e power is just gonna go away. It it will not let me run at all. Like I'll, I'll run a little bit, but then it'll be like no, you can't run. Another thing that happens is that the AC is not hundred percent. Like it'll it'll be cooling right now, but the thing is that. It gets, I don't know, it gets so hot to the point where it, it cuts down on the AC for some reason. And I figured out that um, one thing that would happen before was if I would go, if I would go, go to the vehicle settings, I would go to, uh, what's that called? The Eco, Eco Pro Mode. If I would go to it, I could have the climate limitation or the climate control. It would cut down on on on, on the AC uh, if it felt like it was consuming too much power. In this case, like right now, I'm getting a, a bit of a musky smell just because the AC is cutting down a bit. Like it's not fully, it's not fully going. It's not like cold, cold. So then I lower it down a little bit. And then it works a, a, a bit better. But what am I trying to say here? So what I'm trying to say is that, okay, now you can see that it is completely gone. I was using the AC full blast and now my AC is not, it's not super cold. Even though the AC is on, I have it at level three now. I, th I had this off. Usually I have it off, but uh, regularly, I put it in, in the M. I don't know if that's for manual or what it is, but I put it there. So it gets so hot that um, this thing that I used to hold down to my phone fell off. It just it just unplugged because it was so hot. Um, anyway, so right now my AC is not really cold and I cannot go anywhere. This is me trying to go, okay? And I'm pushing the accelerator all the way in and it's barely going eight miles per, per, per hour. So yeah, definitely it's not fun to deal with this. I preconditioned the cabin, but what good is it doing for me? Like, it's just not, it's, 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 it's unusable this way. And I wish it could be different, but yeah for some reason it just it doesn't want to so what i gotta do is i gotta wait for it to um i gotta wait for the battery to cool off a bit so that i can go right now i'm full throttle and it's barely going two miles per hour that's how bad it is um you can kind of play with it and i have a trick of how to make it go I have a trick of how to make it go um, so that I'm not, you know, having a hard time trying to go. But this is it. This is it, not really, uh, not really moving at all. And it gets, I mean, super dangerous because when you go on the road, 
I mean, you're trying to go, but you can't speed up. And you get in the way of cars and, you know, people don't wait for you. They start honk honking at you and you can get into a dangerous situation. So what I do instead to avoid that is that I wait just a little bit. I mean, I try to have the AC going so that I can stay a little bit cool. And then I wait to gain a few bars. Once I gain a few bars back, what I do is that when there's not a lot going on on the road, what I do is that I, um, what I do is that I, I go on the road and I set the cruise control. So I set the cruise control. I set the cruise control at a level where, um, where the autopilot will, uh, or the auto cruise control will pick up uh, pick up speed for me and when it when i can manage to do that then the car will uh accelerate and i can continue accelerating with a plus or minus um toggle or not toggle but this button um yeah so right now it's i mean if you were here you would feel it like the the AC is warm instead of, you know, functioning like an AC. So I got to lower down the AC enough so that it sort of cools down. And then once it cools down enough, in turn, see right now when I, when I lowered it, I can feel it, it's cold. And then um, I got one bar back. So I think with that bar back, I can probably make it out of the road. So... I put it in drive again, and here I go. I'm gonna give it a try, see? Now I can go a little bit faster. And that is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take it and go. See, now it's going. And what I gotta do is once it gets there, I can set my cruise control. Uh, if I knew how, oh, here. I set my cruise control. And then now it's set. And now that it's set, I can uh, I can speed more, or I can um, I can increase or decrease the the speed. Now, if you own a BMW i3, I'm curious. Like, do you go through this? Because this is something I go through when it's really hot out. Um, when the weather is like super cold what's happened is that i'll lose i'll, I'll lose uh range uh more more so like it, it'll be drastic uh reduction of, of range but it it is still going to be you know good enough for me to be able to get anywhere i want to and then i can turn on the the um what's it called i can turn on the range extender and and it's fine right but it's something that I gotta look out for uh, when it's really hot. Like right now, if you notice the temperature that my car registers is 120. Um, I think uh, I think my phone said that it was somewhere around 117. I think today was going to be a record. Um, but yeah. That, that's what happens uh you know to my car to is what happens to my i3 so i wonder like you know every time we're talking about the bmw i3 or every, every time i hear somebody talking about the bmw i3 um are they are they really saying like yes like um yes i really like it and this is the best car ever and all of that I mean don't get me wrong I like the BMW i3 I like it a lot it's a it's a very unique car it has very unique features it has some missing uh, some some things that are missing like I I know the Tesla vehicles do it I I think the Chevy Volt does it as well I'm not sure if the Nissan um, does this but uh, what I'm referring to is the cooling of the 
battery while the vehicle is idle. I know that that is something that I know that is something that the the the, the i three doesn't do. So see right now, if I if I just click resume, it'll speed up for me, and then I can increase the. I can I can increase the speed and I can go fast, you know, with only one bar of e power. I can really pick up speed if I wanted to. So it's my way to get around. The only thing that I uh, that you know I have to live with is making sure that I wait about five minutes inside the cabin. Uh, you know with the car on so that the battery can start getting cooled off so um, now I can really get my AC back up to you know high speed and it'll work as long as I'm not stopped for a long time the AC is still gonna be running at a good you know cooling level the um, so what I was talking about about uh, what I was talking about before was cooling down the battery. The BMW i3 doesn't have that system. For the battery to be cooled while while um, the i3 is uh, not running, I can be preconditioning the I can be preconditioning the the uh, the cabin, but it's not gonna precondition the. It's not going to precondition the battery at all. So, you know, that's kind of a bummer. I feel like if this vehicle had that, it would be, it would be really, really like super usable. The other thing that I feel is bad for the US made or uh, the US uh, uh, BMW i3 is that the range extender can't be turned on at will. Well. I went and I, I reprogrammed the i3 with, I think it was Beamer code, and I can now turn on the, the I can now hold the state of charge. And see, now it's holding the state of charge, I, you know, it's running at a good, it's running at a good, you know, level, I can keep up with cars, so it's, it's almost normal even though I have reduced speed like yeah I can't do I can't do super fast accelerating but it does accelerate fast enough for me to get by so what am I trying to say you know a lot of people talk about like is the BMW i3 a good buy in 2025 uh, is it a good buy in 2024 is it a good buy in 2023 yeah, don't get me wrong. Yeah, it's a good buy. But, you know, you got to look out. You know, how, what is it that, that, that you're looking for, you know, to get out of, out of the car you drive daily? You know, for me, this works well. But, it, but then this is not for everybody. I think uh, a lot of people get disappointed with the BMW i3 just because they do not know of some of the features that you can unlock and also because they do not know of uh, of when you're using it and you're using it in such a way that that it cuts down your power or you're using it in such a way that it overheats the battery to the point where um, it cuts down your AC um, or say like when you forget to charge it and you don't have the ability to turn on the state of charge to hold the state of charge and then your vehicle starts cutting down um, then it's really annoying you know then dealing with the i3 is not you know it's not the way to go so yes I like the i3 I like its quirks and, and, and you know I think it's a really good car. I recently, I blew that transmission on it. I was doing a burnout. Uh, I mean, I did the roller mode. I was 
getting over my uh, getting uh getting too excited about you know the capabilities of the i3 but i think I, I i did it too many times and so eventually i destroyed the the transmission and so yeah it cost a lot it cost more than it cost uh what was it more than more than seven thousand to get it fixed at the dealership i was trying to do it myself to replace the the transmission but uh, i felt overwhelmed by by the by the uh, by the thought that I needed to by the thought that I needed to replace the 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 AC like you know disconnect it empty it out reconnect it and also I didn't know if I would need to reprogram um, the i3 as well so I didn't do it I decided to go with the dealer um, and and yeah it it was it was pricey but yeah i got it back uh right now is the hottest time of the year in arizona but i'm still i'm still using it as a daily and it's still fine you know i like it so yeah i mean does everybody lie when they're talking about the i3 saying like oh this is the best car or have they not experienced this or do they, do they not mind when they say, you know, that the BMW i3 is such a good car? I mean, it is. You just gotta know these things um, so that when it happens to you, you know what to do. So yes, one of the things that I do whenever, whenever it's too hot and I do not have enough e-power is that I try to set up, I try to set up my cruise control so that every time I, I get started on, on, on a red light, the next thing that I do is as soon as I pick up speed, I go and I, I click on, on I click on reset. And then once I click on reset, then then the uh, the speed will pick up. Like right now, uh, it's not yet, but there it is. Now it's picking up. So after 20 miles, per hour I can I can get the AC to or I can get the cruise control to turn on and um, and pick up speed to the to the speed uh, that it was uh, marked that that it was present so there it is As I drive a little more, I'll start getting more e-power. And eventually I get all of the e-power, but if I start uh, speeding up and just pushing the car too hard, then the e-power cuts down again. So it's something that, you know, I just gotta be aware of it. I, I, I like using it. It hasn't really put me in, in a tight situation where, you know, I need to get somewhere and I can't with with the car because of this problem. So I don't mind it. I, I still like the BMW i3. So I hope you know I can still use it for a long time because you know it doesn't bother me. Um, now that I know, but when I didn't know, yeah, this was surprising. All right, thanks for watching.